Hello, pre-calculus students and seekers of general truths. Uh, let us look at uh, kind of a classical uh, example here. And I say classical because this was useful from the very beginnings of mathematics and calculus. Um, we have since developed great technologies that are better than this, but it's still worth uh, seeing how the concepts apply. So let's say we want to estimate the value of, 16, of the square root of 16.2. Right, and we didn't have a fancy calculator for us to, to, to use. Right, so how would we go about that? Well, we can use a local linear approximation. And we want to use a point that's very close to 16.2 for which we know the exact answer. So that would logically point us towards x equals 16 because 16 is close to 16.2 and we know that the square root of 16 we know the exact answer is equal to 4. Okay, so that's kind of the two requirements for picking the point to use to make an approximation. Make it a point that's close to the, the point that we're trying to estimate and make sure that the point we pick we know the exact answer for. So that takes care of the local part, right? Two points that are close to each other, 16, 16.2. Let's take care of the linear part, okay? So we want to find the tangent line equation. And that begins with us finding the slope, which involves us finding the derivative. Now, we've already worked out the derivative of the square root of x in a previous example, um, probably on the exercises for the previous section. And so the uh, derivative for square root of x turns out to be 1 over 2 root x. Okay. If you don't know where that comes from, look back at some of your, the previous exercises and examples, because I'm going to skip over um, the complicated, the lengthy, messy stuff. Okay, so that's the derivative, and if we plug in 16, that'll tell us the slope of the tangent line. So this is 1 over 2 root 16, so this turns out to be 1 eighth. Okay. And we already know that f of 16 is 4. Right? f of 16 is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. Okay, so that's our slope is 1 eighth. Our point would be 16 comma 4. Okay. And just so we can get a full complete illustration and picture of what's going on here, I mean this is the square root function. We describe it as the shooting star function uh, when x is equal to 16. Uh, f of x is equal to 4. Okay, so we're at this point right here. And now we want to write the equation of the tangent line. So that would be, let me change up the colors here. This would be y is equal to, and using point slope form, 1 eighth x minus 16 uh, plus 4. So that would be uh, like, let me see if I can draw this well here. This would look something, hold on. So that would look something like that. Okay, so the line is tangent to the, to the curve at x equals 16. Okay, and now you can also see that near this point, that's the local part again, 16.2 on the red curve and 16.2 on the gr uh, blue line is very, very close to each other. So we can say that f of 16.2 is really, really close to y of 16.2. And plugging in 16.2 into our equation, we get 1 eighth 16.2 minus 16 plus 4. So this is 1 eighth times 0.2 plus 4. Okay. So working out all that arithmetic, I get that my answer is, up, is equal to 4.025. Okay, so that's our approximation on this tangent line curve right here. Um, and just for reference, in your calculator, the TI-83, TI-84, 
tells us that uh, the square root of 16.2 is approximately 4.02 four nine two okay so you see that we're like our estimation is really really close to the actual answer this is our estimate this is the actual answer so the tangent line can be a very powerful tool and again I'm illustrating this using a function that we're familiar with the square root of x but we will see examples later in calculus where we have this function and the function is way more complicated than we think it is uh, way more complicated than these examples certainly all right so as always Keep working hard. Ask for clarification whenever you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.